Welcome back in TechDev Studio and in this video I'm going to show you how can make the attacking system. So uh, first we have to find out the attack animation that we can use. Let's go to our sequence that's here, tag now. Here there's a bunch of attacking animation available. So we have to find uh, a right animation. So to find easily, we are going to first go to the demo version or the level of the asset pack. So which is help you to refine or find the correct animation that we are looking for. Because uh, uh, which animation pack I'm using, they have lots of va different variants animation. So I have to check and look at one. Okay, now let's see where is the tag version RM compact running jump walk equip run 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 comeback run equip hit uh, comeback uh, attack. I guess this should be more like comeback comeback attack like a power attack. Let's see from here. This okay, we can use from this one anything, okay? Like from here, we can use uh, this is uh, actually what I'm looking for and developer version. Uh, so this all five version are uh, look great, awesome, okay? And there's some bunch of others available, but those are uh, in root motion, so more or less, I'm looking something like in this in place, okay? But though that's looking so awesome, okay. We now we know that which animation we are going to use. Now let's start coding. First, we'll be go to the in the event graph, and an event graph we can create a simple custom event called attack. Uh, for now, I'm using the directly left mouse, so left mouse. And once I press left mouse, we want to play montage. So just get out the mesh and search play montage. And from here, you find the actually right one. There's a one more montage animation available, which is more like basic, uh, slightly different. So we are not going to use that. We are going to use this one. Okay. Also, we are going to write a code called do once because we don't want that the animation should be repeat, 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 repeat. Okay. Suppose it's playing from zero to one and what happens suddenly player will be play again. And what you'll do, it will again reset it. So to avoid that problem, you are going to use do once and it will play. And once it's complete, connect back to with a detail node and it will be work fine. Like this. Okay, now in the montage one, we'll create a random a random array element. And from here, we'll search that make a array. And now from this one, we can actually assign the motion montage that we want to play. So make sure it should be in a montage. Uh, so first let's choose the animation where are they so this is I guess so let me just check one more time properly that okay that is the right one okay now once we know that those are the right one now just simply click on create and montage now it will automatically create and convert it for all the montage animation for you okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to assign them one by one at share so I see that I can literally add four variants uh, four or five variants okay so one at here, one at here, one at here, another at here, and the last one at here. Okay, now we have our animations that we are want to play, and we already made our algorithm that we need. Okay, now what the heck? Why did comment go there? Okay, now we have to do some coding to make it work properly. We need to go to our animations grouping. So just go. On our animation grouping now at here we have to go to animation and at here we have to write some code so first code will be we have to take a cache pose of this uh, animation so which will help help you to modify it so save cache pose and we can give it name whatever you want I'm giving that loco locomotion d1 and I'm going to search again that use we have to search use local use local motion local motion d1 and we need to pick it up again uh, and then from here search that layer bend per bone and from this one we have to search that one dash 
So which will be basically default slot montage, connect with the blend space and connect the output with the output. Now about on the layer blend, you have to enable bone rotation and mesh space on a scale blend, layer blend, split this one, add here a filter, add a node, split it again and here we have to give the bone name. So in my case, I'm using the default Unreal Engine skeleton, so it's easy to recognize to this spine one so you can use whatever you uh, like uh, depends on your bone and the bend depth should be four okay you can also write two or one or two or three even depends on your override or the band space that you are going to be modified okay the four is enough for me so i'm just keeping this one now compile and save it now to be honest the code is done so we can go back to our map actually and click on play and left mouse so you can see now it's playing the random animation that we are looking for okay so to be honest uh, for this kind of like sword you should play full body animation it will be much better but for my case i'm using this one to just demonstrate you how it's but it's, you can see that it's look very weird okay so yeah i guess that's all in this video see you in the next video and take care bye bye